What the hell hit my horse in the ass? Who was that? Oh. Hey, Hill. Hill here. Gaming. And welcome back to the Elder Scrolls V Skyrim Special Edition. This is Hill. And we are here with Sundar and his new companion, Juan Amans, who we... He's kind of new and kind of not. We used him in one of the very earlier uh, missions. But I've, thanks to the amazing follower tweaks mod, I've been able to redo this character because he had like the, the dragon fire breath and heavy armor and all this kind of stuff. And the character is actually a red guard. He was created as a red guard. So I have gone ahead and made him a red guard with red guard gear uh, he's now sword and shield he no longer has the dragon breath just a, a normal um, warrior red guard warrior so thanks so much for the amazing follower tweaks mod and the links of course are in the description if you're interested in downloading this mod I am playing on the PC so we're here in Dawnguard visiting the Dawnguard Museum and we have been invited to come inside by the museum curator. And that would be Silas Vesius. Or something like that. Feel free to look around. Come talk to me when you're ready to discuss that job I mentioned. So we are doing side quests again. The trees hung here and outside were found in hideouts where members of the Mythic Dawn would meet and plot. The cult's greatest accomplishment was the assassination of the Septim Dynasty and the opening of the Oblivion Gates. Did you have any questions about the museum? Or would you rather talk business? A courier gave me this pamphlet. And here you are. I hope you found the museum to your liking. Let's talk about this job you want done. A little history first. After the Oblivion Crisis, a number of groups cropped up dedicated to wiping out the remnants of the Mythic Dawn. One of these groups found Merun's Razor, the artifact of Dagon. They split it into three fragments and pledged to keep them apart forever. That was almost 150 years ago, and the pieces are still being kept by the descendants of that group. And they're right here, in Skyrim. You want me to get them fragments, I'm, I'm guessing. At least two of the owners, Gonzal and Draskua, are dangerous marauders. And the third owner, Jorgen. I only know he lives in Morthal. Here are my notes about them. I'll gladly pay you for getting the pieces any way you can. No questions asked. I want to know more about the Razor. The Razor is Merun's Dagon's personal artifact. It has always heralded bloody change and carnage. It's held many names. Dagger of the Final Wounds, Bane of the Righteous, the Kingslayer. The Mythic Dawn worshipped Dagon as a god. Having his Razor would be invaluable to my collection. So what is this Mythic Dawn cult? They were worshippers of Merun's Dagon, the Daedric Lord of Destruction and Change. The Mythic Dawn killed Uriel Septim VII and his heirs, triggering the events that led to the Oblivion Crisis when the Daedra invaded Tamriel. All that remains of the infamous cult, I've gathered in my museum. Who is Merun Dagon? Ah. An excellent question. Merun's Dagon is the Daedric Lord of Change, Destruction, and Ambition. Dagon's mythic Dawn cult killed the Septim Dynasty and opened the Oblivion Gates into Tamriel. They called it the Oblivion Crisis. Good luck finding the fragments. That burned paper is all that remains of the fabled Mysterium Xarxes. A blasphemous book written by Merun's Dagon himself. 
It said that Mankar Cameron used the book to open a portal to a paradise where all his followers would live forever. The commentaries on the Mysterium Zarkasis were written by the Mythic Dawn cult leader, Mankar Cameron. He promised a paradise awaited his followers when they died, that they would be reborn by Merun Stagon's side. Ah, yes, that scabbard. Notice the insignia? An Oblivion Gate, a key symbol of Merun's Dagon, the patron Daedra of the Mythic Dawn. Those robes were worn during the Mythic Dawn's secret meetings, where they plotted to bring the Daedra Merun's Dagon into Tamriel. Each bolt of yarn used to make the robe was colored with a dye made from sacrificial blood. Some museum. I mean, you live here. <laughs> All right, let's go. Okay, I don't see any arrows. Hold on here. What quest am I doing? Aha, uh -huh. this is a now a main quest. We've gone from miscellaneous to main. Okay. So I've got a lot of side quests here, miscellaneous quests. Uh, I have been in Riften, and, you know, some time has passed, maybe about a week, three, four days, a week. Uh, we've been in Riften doing various... Uh, exploration I guess you might want to call it and uh, you know we picked up all these other side quests here which you know one of these days I'll get around to but anyhow um, let's work on this main mission here pieces of the past and here I thought I was doing a side quest now how far away are these uh, markers here. Am I like going to a completely different... Yeah, look at this. Morthal. I thought he said that some of the people were actually in, in this town, but I guess not. Looks like it's more... No, wait. Here's another arrow. Where's this taking me? Oh, wow. Someplace I've never been. Dead Crone Rock, and this is close to Mark Markarth. All right, let's uh, we'll go way out here first. See what the heck is going on. You see, I'm up to level 43. Uh, did do some training with someone in Alteration. There was a woman that I uh, paid to train in Alteration. Also, did a little bit more training in sneaking uh, with one of the. I guess the, I don't know what they are, the, whatever those, uh, Thieves Guild people that live in Riften, uh, there was a guy in there that was, uh, able to train me in sneaking. What can I do for you, friend? So, those two things have allowed me to level up a little bit higher. Okay. It's the Faithful Bessie. What the hell? Hold on, hold on. Let me get Bessie to safety. Alright, come on, Juan. Oh, it's the Force One. More. 
All right, let's see if we can get over here to our mission area. This seems like this is going to be a long mission. If I've got to talk to three people and they're all over the map. in the ass. Who was that? Oh shit, an atronaut. Look at this thing. Leave Bessie alone. Why do they always attack Bessie? so I can search the body. Thank you. Okay, alteration increased. Huh? I guess this is a uh, alchemy lab. It'll be all right. Should have more than enough potions from all the looting that I've been doing. Who is this over here? Who are you people? Need something? Y'all, y'all are, oh, I was worried. It took you that long. To decide to attack me, really? Why don't you just surrender? I'm trying to talk to you. Look at this. All you had to do was say hello and we could have just gone our separate ways. What the? Oh, I thought it was some more. saw a chest of, what who was this hello what do you need oh what the hell I thought you were gonna be civil Ammon you check him good work Just arrived in Morthal to try.
try to uh, get part of Maroon's whatever. But uh, the game, this is the first crash since I've been playing the game for over 75 hours. It crashed the desktop. But now we are back. How are we supposed to feel safe in our own homes? Please, enough already. I have told me rid of your concerns. I'll look after you all. Please, go about your business. We have no need for wizards in our midst. Unless it's about the mill. I don't have time to talk. Too much to do. I'm looking for pieces of Maroon's razor. Don't know what you're talking about, stranger. I think you do. Really? Silas Vesuius says otherwise. I've heard of him. My father had suspicions about his connection to the mythic Don. Guess they were true. I don't need this. My family wasted eight generations keeping that razor safe from a dead cult. As far as I care, I can stay locked in my house. You won't miss it then. You want the hilt that bad? Fine. Here's the keys. It's locked in a chest inside my house. What isn't the Yarl dealing with? Trust you saw the house that burned down. Peculiar bit of business that was. And that's on top of noises from the marsh in the night. Tales of monsters. And now this wizard in the mist. What's a man to do if he can't look to his Yarl for help? So is that what you're upset about? The world's going mad, and our Yarl does what? She hides inside with her visions. We need a leader, not some mystic. You don't trust the Yarl? How can I? She never speaks with us. She has allowed this wizard, Falcon, to live in our midst practicing gods know what. And now there's talk of rebellion and dragons? But help could Idgrad be against them? No. We can only rely on ourselves. You do well to remember that. It's no use. Let's get back to it then. Morthal used to be a quiet place, but then the world used to make sense. Lightly armored means light on your feet. Smart. The mill is my responsibility. That's what I care about. That's all. Stand. Here, Nern Root. This is part of a quest, I believe. Yeah, 20 Nern Root. This Blackbriar woman. Whoa. I think this is that mod, Dolomite Weathers, but the weather just changes. Just like that. Does that. I might have to look at uninstalling it. I'm telling you, this is uh. It's a little bit too startling. Keep your wits about you. Morthal's hardly a safe place. Dragonborn, huh? Was it your ma or your pa that was the dragon? Oh, you got jokes, huh? Okay, so... I guess I should do the right thing and leave the gold and stuff. Even though it was very tempting to just take it. Alright, so we've got one piece. Let's see what we have here on our map. What's next? Here. Oh, so what, I have to bring each piece to him separately? Is that how this works? It's one of those wacky quests, huh? That just wastes your time. Look out, kids.
What is it? Do you have one of the razor fragments? The hilt of Maroon's razor as promised. Did you try the grip? Isn't it eerie how it seems to mold itself into your hand? Here's your gold. We just need the pommel and the shards of the blade now. I'll just be tending the museum if you need me. Alright, Juan, let's go. Yeah, I tried to get to this area the last time and that didn't go so well. And there's nothing else over here. This is like as far east as we can possibly go. This looks like, is this, uh, like Markarth or something? Yep. Markarth. Alright, I need to find the way out of here. Oh, wow, we got orcs. I oversee Markarth's smelter. Worker gets out of line, I get him back in line. You're not one of my workers. What are you doing here? Nothing. Looking around. Well then, look. Look all you want. And when you're done looking, maybe we can get some work done. Fight well. To the Warrens, I don't think I want to go there. I am not familiar with Mark Hart at all. Okay, looks like this is the way out. Yup. You need something? I am happy to help if I can. All right, I think we were over here earlier when we first started out. I was trying to get to this uh, area and never made it. Let's see. Why are we not finding this? All right, I'm actually going to put a marker here as well. And I can't see the marker. discovered the farm I think I remember there being a quest up here and a lot of fighting at this mine but that's not what we're here for today let's keep moving see we've been through this area and somehow I got sidetracked and I don't see my marker anywhere Alright, well you know what folks, this stream, this recording has gone on for a while. Oh, and of course there's a dragon. It's gone on for a while and it looks like it's going to go on for a little while longer because we got to take out this dragon. if I could run. Damn it, you gotta get out of my way. Did you 
some juniper berries while I'm waiting for the dragon. Alright, where the hell did he go? And try to keep it away from Bessie. Right. So our two red guards have taken down a dragon. Okay. Alright folks, we're going to end the video here and when I finally find the location of this uh, Maroons, whatever it is, the hilt or whatever it is we're looking for, I will resume the recording. But thank you all so much for watching and I will catch you next time.